During this lesson, you will be required to fill out a worksheet. I recommend you read through the worksheet before viewing the lesson. In order to give you time to do this, you can use the pause button at the bottom of the screen. Learning Outcomes By the end of this lesson, you should be able to List the three most important points when setting out an arc and describe one method used to set out an arc using a sketch to illustrate your answer. Arcs and curves are much simpler to set out than perpendiculars. Any arc has three important points, namely the start tangent point, the end tangent point, and the origin. A tangent point is a point where an arc just touches or intersects a straight line or other arc. In the drawing opposite, points C, F and H are all tangent points. We can see that there are two arcs used on the right hand side of the driveway to make the S curve. The 4.5 meter arc has its origin at G and a tangent point with the building at C. The 3 meter arc has its origin at I with a tangent point at H where it meets the line that continues towards the public footpath. Where these two arcs kiss at point F is also a tangent point common to both arcs. In some situations the origin of an arc might be inaccessible. For example, it could lie within the building itself or be obscured by trees. In such cases, accurate setting out of arcs can be achieved by using uh, cords. These are straight lines connecting two known points on an arc. To establish the 4.5 meter arc, a measurement is made along the face of the building and the origin marked at 4.5 meters from C at point G. The tape measure can now be anchored at point G and used to scribe out the arc by swinging it around from point C towards H, marking in spray paint or similar. Establishing the 3 meter arc is a little more tricky. We can see that its origin I is located on a perpendicular from the building aligned with the corner C and is 6 meters from the baseline. We can parallel off the perpendicular set out on the left hand side of the driveway to establish this second perpendicular and mark out I. The tape is then anchored at I and a resulting arc scribed in the same manner as the 4.5 meter arc. All that remains now is to drive in marker pins at regular intervals along the arcs. The separation between marker pins will depend on the radius of the arc. Once in position, a taut string line can be fastened to the pins to create a line and a level guide for the laying of the paving. Setting out lines and arcs. Using the two basic methods for setting out perpendiculars and arcs, it is now possible to set out the whole driveway with marker pins and a taut string line. However, this only gives us a line guide, a guide to the shape of the driveway. Next we have to establish levels to ensure that the driveway is sloping or falling in the right direction to drain away any surface water. The height of the taut string line above ground level is adjusted at the marker pins to give us a guide for both line and level. Conclusion An arc has three important points, namely the start tangent point, the end tangent point and the origin. A couple of methods used for setting out an arc are to use a measuring tape or to use a trammel.